Look at that. Don't flip it upside down, because then it looks like something else. It looks like, <laughs> so just leave it upwards, otherwise you're not gonna want to eat it upside down. Okay, you ready? But with yeah, a weird just, just eat the thing. Mm. <laughs> yeah, what, what's nipple. that nipple taste like? Like yeah, a big hurt. nipple. A big mm, green nipple. So good, huh? That's, oh! Ooh, you got a dangle. Oh, wow. you got a, that. <laughs> that's like a, oh wow, that's terrible. Welcome, welcome, welcome to an episode of Googan Squad exclusive content just for your earlobes and eyes to listen to and see. Ooh, like the way? Wow, that was good. I've done this a couple okay. of times before. Wow. Anyway, this is an episode of Mexican Candy. We are down here in the lovely, lovely state of Nuevo Leon. And we are going to be, not me, I've done this a million times, but they're going to be trying Mexican Candy for the first time ever. Son of a... So as you guys saw in the introduction, we're about to do a Mexican candy episode with the Guggen Squad, and I will be the Sherpa walking them through this. I have large experience teaching uh, Americans and uh, Englishmen on how to eat Mexican candy. Now, I grew up eating all this to keep it short. Uh, it's all amazing to Mexican kids and Mexican adults, but to the Americans and people who have never had this, not so great. Or it's a shocking. It, they get used to it, they like it, but at first it's just a shock. So we're gonna start out with uh, Pelón Pelo Rico, which is, um, and I'll tell you guys with no problem, this is a tamarind candy that you squeeze up and then you pretty much give a bald figure hair. It's a long process. And then we're gonna go with the super classic. Super classic, that's not Mr. Mr. Was it Mr. Panky, the, the poop from uh, South Park? That's not what it is. Uh, Mr. Panky, what the I don't know his name. Anyway, so uh, pulver, in the, it's, it's also tamarind, but the tamarind has a little uh, powdered sugar on top of it, which makes it, my, my, if you can't see, but my glands are just secreting saliva. I'm getting so hungry. Uh, next, we're gonna do this uh, lemon powder. Um, traditionally, you guys put, or we Americans put this in, uh, in the Coronas, but Mexican kids just put this in their head, in their head, in their mouth, and then just put like ulcers in their stomach. It's super, super good. Oh. We're gonna get some uh, elotes, piquelotiques. So this is pretty much like a, um, just like a lollipop, but as, uh, as Mexicans do it, we sprinkled it with uh, chili powder. It's super, super good. Literally mouth-watering, as you guys can probably tell. Oh, no, no, we're gonna put this back, and we're gonna get the Vero Mangos. These, these are the super classic. Super, super classic. We're gonna find uh, Duvalin, if we can find it. But for the time being, since we're not gonna do that, we're not gonna do marzipan. I know that you guys would probably be like, well, you forgot marzipan. Marzipan is like the most iconic uh, Mexican candy, which is pretty much powdered peanut, powdered peanuts with, uh, with sugar packed into this little condensed little, like, almost coin. Um, but obviously, Rackley's deathly, deathly allergic to peanuts. So we're just gonna find the dualin and then we're good to go. We're gonna take some. This uh, mini paleta payaso, payaso's clown. Um, it never ends up looking like this. It's like, you'll see it. If you if you zoom in on this, on this guy's little face, that's what it's supposed to look like. But like traditional ice cream truck ice cream, like when you buy a Spider-Man or something like that, like it's super melted and it's super warped. That's exactly what this is gonna be. So this, and here's the Duvalin that I was just talking about. This is the one that's, it's like, it's like frosting. It's pretty good. And I think we're done. Let's take it back to the ranch or wherever it is that we're sitting at the moment. All of you Mexicans out there, you know the deal. This is so super fire, but you will be, you will be really surprised to hear that a lot of people didn't grow up eating the best candy in the world, right? Nobody had the pelon tamarindos or the vero mangos. Like, I'm talking about super fire stuff. It hits you right here. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Wow. It hits you right here. Anyway, joined by Guggen Matt, Guggen Matt manager Matt. <laughs> Obviously, oh legendary oh Lake Fork guy, mm -hmm. Justin Rackley. Mm -hmm. King of YouTube content, Mr. Flair, and our friend Toby, the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Tobias. Mr. Tobias, and uh, we're gonna get started. We have uh, just pretty much the basics that I grew up with, and uh, every single time I've done this test with other people, whether it's gamers or just you know English men in general, they always have some very peculiar way of describing what they're well, you know, what they're eating. 
So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm very interested. I'll be behind the camera because I want to see the expressions firsthand, but we will be explaining. That's it. Very good. Any peanuts, calawote. Yeah, we gotta be, be careful with this guy. Yeah, we're not trying to kill him. Yeah. Look, I'm gonna say no, but there might be a yes in there. Woo! <laughs> okay, <laughs> We're playing a different kind of game now. <laughs> no, no cacahuates in no, any of these. No cacahuates. Cacahuates. That I know of. Disclaimer. My attorney said that I could say that and I'll be fine. So, disclaimer. <laughs> Might want to have Hector read that one. Yeah. I'm just over here enjoying a nice margarita here in Mexico. Finally, um, you've been working I, so hard. I, I, haven't, first I haven't enjoyed a good margarita yet. We've been here for a few days. Uh, if you're wondering why we are not out there bass fishing, because that's why we came here. It is also today too freaking windy to go bass fishing. So all these videos you guys are seeing of us not bass fishing is because we can't. It's not because we're choosing to eat Mexican candy, not saying that Mexican candy is not good, it's probably fire, yeah. but it, this is this is the second best thing to bass fishing is Mexican candy. So first, would you you handed us some of the original pulparindo. Is that, did I say no, that it correctly? Had, it, it had a bean on the front of it, so it's not a... Shh. <laughs> I'm enjoying this and you're Asking me about peanuts, and I told you there's no peanuts. I'm sorry. Maybe. Disclaimer. <laughs> <laughs> Toby, why don't you go ahead and start up by opening up my favorite, the original, Bull Parindo. It looks like Mr. Mr. Panky. Wait, what's the guy with the poop? Yeah, you're right. Hanky. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Hanky. Mr. Hanky. Hidey ho! That's right. Put me in your mouth so I can burn your. Oh, I'm kidding. <laughs> Cut that. All right. I'm going. I'm going in. Can I go in? Okay. What is the bean? What is the bean light? part? I don't understand. Pulpino. It's like bean pulps. Pulparindo. It's very it raisiny. Sour. It's sour. Mm, it's real sour. Whoa. That's like. Oh, it's spicy now. What's 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 the deal there? Oh, whoa, dude. It's spicy. Holy Heck, shit. I'm gonna go full send on it. Oh. Just take the entire thing. Yeah. Wow. I, I I do. Extremely I, sugary. Woo. Wow. Lots of sugar. It's it almost get, it gets like a little spicy. Raisin? Raisin oh, with pickle? cinnamon rolls? Like pickle? Pickle oh, 100 percent Pickle maybe a cinnamon roll. I didn't I didn't pick up the pickle. What do you think? mix with pickle and spice? I 100 percent agree with Rasmus. It's weird. Pickle. It, it's pickle. There's really? Pickle. Yeah, there is a pickle taste of. It's, More, it's a raisin. Well, it's like a sour patch kid mixed with a pickle. I don't like it. You See, I'm not I'm not picking up any of the any of the pickles. That's a ride of flavors. Mm. If you go full sin, you will experience Salty, all the flavors. Salty, sour, much. sugar, spice, all in get, one. I'm it's, not getting the pickle vibe. I'm not sure where anyone's getting like that. It smells like Dove soap too. Smell it. Yeah, it does smell. It smells nice. It's weird. It's yeah. like a soapy, like a fragrance. You're not you're not you're not feeling it. Not feeling that. No. No. What for me? I. I kind of liked it. It reminded me of something when I was a kid. I can't quite put my finger on it. Really? But it wasn't bad at all. Hmm. Wow. As a four-year-old young man, I must tell you, that was my favorite. Still to this day, I used to lick the, the, the powdered sugar off of it before putting that whole thing, just biting into it, Mr. Hanky. Oh, yeah. All right, at the number two spot, we are going to go with the Duvaline. So open it up, stick oh, your tongue in Duvaline. it, and enjoy it. Yeah, oh, There's your little spoon, that's your little spoon. So this is dulce, spoon. which I believe is dulce. like a, uh, like a chocolate, like a chocolate cream um, sort, of, sort of deal. It's like a mini pudding situation. If you flip that over, you can see that it looks like vanilla and chocolate that we have here, so. I'm going straight chocolate, huh? out the gate. We got chocolate vanilla, it looks like. That's tasty. Okay. That's Much like better than the top. first one. That's really good. What do you think? That's really this good. This reminds me of a Cadbury egg. That's a you ever had a Cadbury egg? It's yeah. like that's just get that cream in the middle. Yes, hundred percent. It's. I think that's it's really like a good. white Nutella. It's oh, a, very. Oh, I like that. It's too. a white Nutella. I like that. That's Nutella, a little hazelnutty. It's more my speed. Mm, I like this one. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, like this one a lot. Yeah, it's like I ice cream, right? It's like mm -hmm. it's like pudding. Creamy. Very good, okay, okay. Make sure that you're keeping your wrappers because I'm gonna make you guys rank them from favorite to least favorite at the end of this oh. experience. Right now, the choice is very easy. Now, we're gonna go on to one of my favorite ones yet because it is surprising to say the least. Not only is the taste decadent, <laughs> but more importantly, it's a surprise. I'm gonna tell you why. When you, <laughs> when you, 
when you open up, okay, so it's supposed to look like this little clown, right? And this is what I was talking about back in the store. When you open it, it's like that Spider-Man that you get off of ice cream truck because it looks like Spider-Man, but when you open it, <laughs> the head fell, falls off. I mean, let's look, let, does that look remotely close to what it's supposed to? Like, no, it's not. Anyway, that's what we're gonna move on to next. Stick? Nope, mine fell off the stick. Yours is falling off the stick too. Yeah. This this must be an art. Yeah. Wait. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Look at that, guys. That's wow. a handsome clown. Yeah, this is good. <laughs> this, is, this is called packaging, folks. It's key, in, it's key when it comes to selling products. These guys have killed the freaking game. All right, I'll tell you that much. All right, um, so from what? the looks of it, what, you, he, he took a bite. What does he think? You, me, me? both of you. I'm gonna tell you, this ain't it. All right. <laughs> What for one, I hate marshmallows more than anything else in the mm. world. And this is, I'll, I'll say this, I, lo I like s'mores. I don't mind when the marshmallow gets a little melted and okay. you get some chocolate in there, but straight up like puffy marshmallow makes me want to gag. And this is straight up puffy marshmallow in the center of this. So you're not a big peep fan. This is awful. The, you're not a big give me, peep fan. Give me this all day long. Really? Over there. Wow. Yeah. You hate marshmallows that much. I wow. hate marshmallows that much. That is a odd thing to Which despise. is crazy because you're so marshmallowy. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is a terrible combo. When you mix, these are two different things. It's like the first thing. I don't like the sourness mixed with a chocolatey decadent mm. uh, you know, situation. And also, I hate clowns. Let's get rid of the clowns. Um, <laughs> as a child, I was terrorized by clowns. They scared me. I, I that's, Till this day, I don't like clowns on anything. So uh, I would give this a fat like two out of ten. Um, yeah, I'm not a big marshmallow fan either. So I have a story about clowns I don't think I can put on camera. Oh, the one that touched you at that party. Yeah. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and tell the. I'm gonna go ahead don't and tell, tell the story. story. Let's move on. What is your experience with clowns? I have yet to take a bite out of this guy. The thing is, I like the marshmallow. I like the chocolate. Like I don't. I don't have any issues with this. I do agree with Rappi with the combination of the um, sourness. The thing is, this that's not sour. That's sugar. So. Oh really? Yeah. I'm just assuming. I'm assuming. You're, you're I'm assuming assume? right now. Okay, I'm just gonna go for them. Sad. I would say this is my favorite so far. Wow! Wow, so good. I like chocolate, I like marshmallow, I like these little gumdrop things. Mm -hmm. This is by far my favorite so far. Dip, dip it in the margarita, dip it in the margarita. <laughs> Give me some mm. strength It got better. All right, so <laughs> we've got two no's and then one yes. Yeah, yours is the only one that stayed I'm gonna have to pull it off really. the stick. Well, and I'm gonna give it the... It, yep. It looked like a... You're not, oh wow, that was, a, that was a sign of disappointment, I feel like, was that not? I'm kind of neutral. Like really? honestly, I've got nothing on my palate right now. Okay. I'm not a fan of marshmallows. Mm -hmm. I do have that that sensation. Yeah. Um, but I don't get a lot of taste out of it. I'm a, I'm a thumbs up. He, so he we got to, Toby's over here like this. I'm over here like this, and these two guys are doing that thing. So I didn't mind it. It was like a uh, what do you call it? Like they sell these like that when you you know during a holiday season. There's peeps. like Santa oh, that's got peeps. covered in chocolate. Yeah. It's like a peep covered yeah. in chocolate. Ch ch yeah. Chocolate peeps. peeps. Oh my god. They're great. I've just been saying the word makes me want to gag. You're one of those people like peeps. Is the word. I've never known yeah. somebody to get so <laughs> disgusted by a marshmallow. Before. <laughs> I thought it was great. I don't know. Terrorize you? I don't know. It's the texture, like cotton candy. I can't like I smell cotton candy and I want to throw Seriously. This is the only way to eat a marshmallow. <laughs> okay, on your fifth one, everything should yeah. be tasting great by now. <laughs> well, now I'm talking about his fifth margarita. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> All right, I here we go. The other, these other ones are looking pretty good. I'm excited. Okay, the next ones are going to be super, super excited because now we're going on the uh, a little bit more tangy mm. side of the spectrum. Go well. And here we go. We're going to do one of my favorites, which is el pelón. Pelo Rico, which is supposed to be a bald person. No offense, Toby. And what you do is, it's like a syringe, almost, that you push from the inside, and hair comes out. Look but the hair, fun. look at that. Don't flip it upside down, because then it looks like something else. It looks like, so just leave it upwards, otherwise you're not gonna want to eat it upside down. If you hang this thing upside down, it looks like a meat grinder. Oh. Just meat coming out of it. Okay, you ready? But with yeah, a weird just eat the hair. thing. Mm. Yeah, big what, what's nipple. that nipple taste like? Like a big nipple. A big mm. green nipple. So good, 
That's oh, you got a dangle. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> that's like a. Oh wow, that's terrible. <laughs> Just says that, that sucks. Just that's says like terrible. the first. One it's almost like a form. tomato paste. Like, really? a, yeah, it's like tomatoey. Oh. oh no, no sir, no. It ain't it. It's like the first candy, but softened down in a push-up pie. A little bit of force action. Mmm. Yeah. Give it. Give it one of these. You get, you're going two hand on it. It's a, wow. it's a, it's a two handed job here. Um. Uh, so you got the these. Texture. Really? It's not good. The texture. It's a little strange. Right? Why? Why is this candy? So these are all things you actually enjoy. As a kid, as an adult, if you go to my house or my office, you see these lying around. Judith, my wife, doesn't like them either. My daughter doesn't like them. Me? <laughs> yeah. I, I know exactly the process. You eat the top, and then when it's done, you take the bottom out. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's a man that enjoys the squeeze candies. Why don't we let you guys be the judge of that? Don't be discouraged by these uncultured people that have not developed the taste buds, right? The palate to taste the finer things in life. I, for one, huge, huge fan. Second or third, what are we, what number are we on? What candy is we? That was four, four, three, four. If they didn't like what they just ate, they're surely not gonna enjoy the next one. You've seen this at gas stations. Most people throw this down the Corona, yeah. but kids obviously can't drink uh, beer, okay? And then you put it into a line and you sniff it, okay? <laughs> you put it into this, and then what you do is you toss it back. By the time you're done with this, there's probably like three ulcers in your stomach, yeah. but so worth it. Let's see what they think. Oh yeah, that's actually a Couple taps. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. As, as Hector mentioned, this is like a beer condiment. However, today it is a lemon, lemon seven, lemon seven. Let me see. Salt and lemon powder. Limon siete. El salto. Ready? Can I just lick it out of the hand? Yeah, you can. I mean, if you sanitize. Oh, woo! Oh, oh, that is ah. That's actually. I had too much salt. I hate salt. That's a bad, not a big salt. Take your yeah. margarita. It helps. It, I, I bet it's good on the mark, honestly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just taste excellent. Cheers. Get below that. Yeah. This is where it's at. Listen, these kids are drinking out. Have here. you ever had sour skittles? Yes. Yeah. This is it. This is this the adult is... version of the sour skittle. Last but not least, and I say last because I haven't myself tried this concoction, which uh, obviously came. I was born in 1980. I am 40 years old. I know. I don't look it. I get it. Thank you. But what's happening here is that I've never had this. So I'm going to have this with them and I'm going to join them on this experience. So, next one that you're going to open up is one of my favorites. I actually do have these in the office and my office at home in the kitchen. I eat these whenever I feel like having a nice, tangy little. It's a lollipop with chili powder. Enjoy. Another one with chilies. It's a very common theme here. Son of a <laughs> is, that, is that bad? That's just not right. Is that bad? <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Keep, keep it going. Keep, keep, wow. keep it with them. Keep it with them. <laughs> wow, it is right. <laughs> salty. Spicy. I don't like, know. It's, it's salty, spicy. I feel like there's somehow sourness in this. Like, at what point does a manufacturer go, this is it, folks. This is what we're going to put on the shelves for these children. It's it. It's it. This right, cannot now, be. Here's the secret. For you rookies, no, 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 just bite the tip. I can't. Take, it, take a bite off the tip. Take a bite off the tip. The tip? Okay. And here's the deal. I bit my Ooh. lip. Okay. Okay. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. Okay. There it goes. You weren't wrong. You were not lying. Okay, that experience is, is so much better. That okay. is good. There's layers. Yes. But I'm, you know, it's hard for me to get <laughs> through the top layer of salt, and it's like just eating Did you bite the tip? Uh, but I bit Salty, just the tip. spicy. <laughs> Did you bite the towel? And then you get to the sourness. Good. Okay. Sourness is pretty good. I kind of like it without even getting the tip. You, you need to give it the tip. Right. Just you, keep it on my lip. Yeah. And you it's can like feel dip. everything. Oh it's like God. dip, but better, and it doesn't give you uh, gum cancer. That's right. Yeah. So. It's, uh, it's so much better. <laughs> it's, it's so much better. It's I, thought, I thought you were messing with it. Wow. I thought you were messing That's with it. Awesome. No, no, no. It's good. It's really good. If you could get past like the outside. I bit my lip. The outside of it? Just. 
It's just not it. Can you get through this layer? Like, is it a, is it a, is it a layer that you could? But again, the majority of the people who have never had it say, why put all that stuff on the outside? Why don't you just give the lollipop the way it is? Because the lollipop by itself is good. But what's the fun in that? You need to have layers. Just it's like layers. Life. No, it's like a fine wine. All right. Okay. Okay. No, no. It's like wine. a fine wine. The first, the sword. first drink of the wine that you like, a fine wine when you open it, is not the best drink. It's like the twentieth drink you take. Mm. Is that what people yeah, say? That's what this is. Is that what people? That's the excuse people use so they can get drunk. No. Yeah. Here's what I do. I get through yeah. like the spicy part, and the second that I get to the actual candy, oh. I toss it and grab what? another one. Here we go. Yeah. Ooh, something, something. That a is it. Oh, Matt has found out. We found the new secret. Dip Matt it. has yeah. found it. You, you dip get it. The sourness. You dip it in there. Sweetness of the mark. Mm. Oh my gosh. That. Totally changes the game right there. That is good. That changes the game right here. I'm disappointed, but go go on. Go on. Disrespecting culture, appropriating. Do your thing. A double whammy. All right. Now we're going to try. I don't even know the name of this candy. I just saw it and I figured it out. Cheese getasso. Cheese getasso. Palola cheese getasso. So you guys can see here. I have personally. Wait, did you just try it without? Watermelon. We're all gonna do it all at. <laughs> we're all gonna do it all at once. Like Banaka. <laughs> but not. Banaka. Isn't it? Wasn't he in Mortal Kombat? All right, here we go. I got defective. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, 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 that's, oh, delightful. Oh, that's delightful, actually. Wait, you don't that's like really that? Really, not nice. that bad. You know what this reminds me of? This is like those Jolly Ranchers. No, remember that the, the uh, yes, that too, and then the frozen. Uh, pops, ice pops. Bomb there was, pops? I, yeah, it was like the one of the red ones that was watermelon flavored. Let me guess. Let me guess. Let me guess. If you put it in the margarita, it tastes amazing. Yeah, it does. Actually, if you chase it, if you chase it with the margarita. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, it's good by itself. It wasn't bad. That this is something I would expect to get in America. My, my, A lot of this other stuff was like okay, fairly whack. All right, it's time, it's time to frame them up from least favorite to most favorite. All right, Toby, from left to right, go from your least favorite to your most favorite. Okay, so I'm gonna skip the names just because I won't pronounce them right. The chocolate pudding was by far my favorite. This was not bad, and now I go to neutral, and then I go to just really don't like them. Starting from least favorite to favorite. Least favorite was this. This is something you put on chicken or something. The spicy sour raisin, not really. The the lollipop, on the other hand, got to. I, I kind of it kind of grew on me after I bit the tip of it. My favorite, although a lot of you guys didn't like it, I am a fan of the marshmallow covered in chocolate. So the clown was my topic. Least favorite by far was the polvorindo. I thought it tasted too much spice and too much raisin. Too many mixed flavors, didn't like it. Similarly, the Polon Puerto Rico, not good. Had a similar taste, just in liquid form. Uh, this just took you for a roller coaster ride. I really like the uh, complex flavors in that. This was enjoyable. The watermelon spray in your mouth, and then this delectable treat here. The mix of the, uh, the hazelnut and the vanilla, delicioso. All right, well, let's start from least favorite. The Mexican peeps, okay? <laughs> the worst thing I've ever had in my life. And the clown is creepy. This thing right here, the Mexican nipple. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fan. Mm. Great. The Mexican Nutella, mm -hmm. it's unmatched. Yeah. This is the good stuff. In conclusion, I was the only person that did not choose the frosting to be the winner. It was really good. I would say, for me again, since I like marshmallow, these would probably be about even, but then again, this is, I mean, it's frosting. It's nothing we haven't had before. Uh, it's nothing too crazy, but that's, ever, Toby, LFG, and Kendrick all said this was their number one. This was my number two. So this right here, this is called the Duveline Be Sabor. This is the winner of the Mexicandy Guggen Squad Mukbang. We don't mean any disrespect here, okay? These are just our opinions. You guys have yours. And I do, I do encourage. Oh, oh what's going on here? They have a pass. Don't apologize. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> I do encourage you guys to go try other candy besides what you're used to. Like if you live in America, like go to other cultures, especially when you travel. If you travel internationally, you can order these get on some Amazon. candy. You, you can order these on the, the yeah. live ones. You can order them on Amazon if you guys want to go check them out. 
But honestly, I enjoyed it. It was a lot more fun That's than fun. I expected. The, the, the range of flavors in Mexican candy is far superior than American candy. I mean, American candy, it's like you're tasting sugar and only sugar. This yeah. is like, they're, they're you don't know what you're- They're grown up a little bit. Yes, they're oh. preparing you for the real world yeah. of spices in Mexico. Yes. That's what's going on right now. So thank you for being here on this edition, the first edition of Mexican candy here on this channel. Special thanks to my man Hector over there for guiding us through this experience. And we'll see you on the next episode of The Goon Squad.